G'day everyone, it's Dan here from GI Energy. We're at All Energy here in Melbourne, and I'm standing with Joel Atkins, the esteemed, what's your role at Fronius now? I'm the head of sales of Fronius Australia. Head of sales of yeah. Fronius Australia. Those of you who've seen our videos know that we've been installing Fronius products for a really long time. Uh, they're a great product, make great inverters. We've got the reserve of battery here behind us. Joel, maybe just give us a two minute overview of Fronius and who they are. Yeah, cool. Uh, established in 1945, uh, we're now 80 years of operation. Uh, we focus on high quality solar manufactured products. So we've got our inverter range, battery range, backup solutions. Uh, we've got EV chargers and hot water heating solutions as well. Um, so we incorporate strong values of quality and sustainability uh, to make sure that your customers have got something that can last. Yeah, great. Right. Yeah. And that has historically been the case with Fronius. Again, mm. if you look at other videos, you'll see that the failure rate, the reliability, the efficiency is always basically number one for the inverters. Obviously the batteries are a little bit newer, but we're starting to install a few of them now. Yeah. Batteries being the sort of hot topic of this year and leading into next, I thought I might ask for your perspective on what you think a few things people should be really careful about before choosing a battery for their home or their business. Well, I think um, it's really important to consider that we're in a market now that is frantic with enthusiasm. Um, there's large rebates available, which makes it really easy to make a quick decision, but it's actually a long-term investment. So what we really understand that, you know, you should really want to get your return on investment out of your system, which can take some time with large cost of goods. Um, so by choosing a battery, you really want to make sure that you're choosing something that can last and that can be there. So you can call upon the warranty if you do need it. Yeah. yeah. I think that's really important. So for, for me, one of the things that we noticed walking around here and it's the same every year, but even more so this year is the number of new batteries that you're seeing. Mm. And for guys like us that have been in the industry a while, there's brands there that we're not aware of. There's so many coming yeah. out. And um, we always tell people to choose something that's probably been around a little bit longer or is more reputable. Mm. Obviously, Fronius ticks that box. Mm. Um, anything else that you can think of there for people to just make sure that they don't make a mistake? Um, do their research. I yeah. mean, don't trust someone's first word on what you should buy. Um, have a look into how long the company's been operating, whether they've got local presence as well. I mean, local support's important. You don't want to be on hold or chasing things up because they're no longer you know, available in Australia. So um, trust your installer to a certain degree, but also do your own research to back that up. I think. Yeah, fair enough. So you mentioned before, um, Brony, or a battery purchase or a yeah. solar energy purchase, it's a long-term investment. There's yeah. obviously a period of time there where you need to recoup that outlay. Um, what makes Fronius different and why are they going to last as long as they're meant to last versus some of the competitors that are probably dropping off a little bit early and people are having trouble with warranty? I think if we take it right back to the core values where Fronius was founded, um, Gunter Fronius, the founder of Fronius, started Fronius to ensure that batteries weren't going to waste, that we could recharge things, that we could be more sustainable that we could manufacture products that could last the stand of time. So we could minimize the, the wastage of, of, of products and um, ensure that quality makes us long lasting, reliable and sustainable. So that's our core value. So everything that we do, how we test our products, how we supply our components, where we get our raw materials, it's really strict criteria on how we do that and what we provide to the end customer. And that's why we're known to be so reliable in the industry. Yeah, fair enough. Um, obviously, we've got the reserve of battery here. We've done other videos on that. So if people want to know about the specs and, and that sort of stuff, they can check that out on the channel. Yeah. I won't go into that now because it would make this video a half an hour long. But um, moving on from the reserve, looking forward into the future, where do you think the future of Fronius goes with its product line? I mean, the industry is evolving all the time. So um, we're definitely evolving like um, our DC charger range for okay. EVs. Okay. Um, our battery capacities are getting larger, the demands of consumers are getting larger as well. So we've got to keep up with that and lead the industry in that regard. Um, but also uh, software re regards like how you control your batteries, BPP integration, smart controls, so that you can have a hands-off approach and ensure that you're getting the fastest return on investment. So we've got some features coming soon, which will maximize um, and provide a really good yield for your return on, invest return on investment for your battery and inverter solution. Nice. So um, for the industry as a whole, I think there's lots of different directions yeah. you can take, um, but really trying to make sense out of what's important to you as an end customer, I think is really important um, and not to get dazzled by all these little things. You know? So return on investment, is it pulling on the warranty that's credible and 
you know, that is Australian based, uh, what's important to you and what product aligns? Yeah, nice. Battery sizes are getting bigger, aren't they, with people? Generally, since that rebate, there's been a push for much larger stacks. Yeah. Um, and I think that will probably continue. Um, do you anticipate that the cost of things will come down over time slightly, or do you think it's probably at a stage where it's going to plateau for a while? Uh, I think it really depends uh, yourself as a consumer. Um, what do you value? Do you want the new cutting edge technology all the time? If that's the case, then you're always going to pay a premium for being the first. Uh, if you want something dependable, um, reliable, um, you pay for that as well. Yeah. So um, what's important to you and what do I select as a consumer and um, will always determine what you pay as well. Yeah, yeah. So if you're always waiting for the price to come down, you're always going to be buying something that's a bit older tech probably. Yeah, potentially or cheaper because yeah. yeah. you will make that compromise as well. So yeah. yeah. Oh, fair enough. Well, mate, we think it's a great product. As I say, we're installing a few of these reservers now, uh, particularly for people that already have the Gen 24 inverter installed. Obviously, it's basically a no-brainer then to the bolt yeah. with the reservoir. So well, they purchased the inverter already. Upgrade it and exactly. put a Fronis battery on. Exactly, yeah. So uh, I think 2026 will do lots of them. No doubt we'll keep talking, but thanks for your time today. Really appreciate no it. No worries at all. Thanks, Dave.